This video goes over using Desmos to investigate sequences and series. Navigate to desmos.com. Click on graphing calculator. All right, we have an entry box. Let's set up an upper limit, n. Pick any value, I'll pick two. Then have n begin from one. And let's position our origin so that we get out to 18. So let's go with an upper limit on capital N of 18 and then step it by unit one. Good, now we can slide N and the value of capital N changes. Next, let's set up a list of integers. So set little n equal to open up a square bracket it matches the closing square bracket for you. Note that it's giving you the information that little n is a list, and in that list are zero elements. Well, we want little n to start at 1, then go to 2, then go to 3, then go to 4, etc. Put a comma, and then put the stopping point, capital N. Now we see that little n is a list containing one element, and if we change the value of capital N, then the size, the number of elements in little n, corresponds with the value of capital N. Good, so little n is then integers one through capital N. For each of these integers, little one through capital N, Let's assign a value. And then we'll use the standard notation, lowercase a. I can access the keyboard down here. I can go into the alphabet ABC. And then there's an option to identify a subscript. I can click on that. And then let me show that again, erase that. Currently, the cursor is in line with the lowercase a. If I click on a sub b, the cursor has dropped down to the subscript location. And then I want to identify little n. And then set that equal. Notice that I have changed the location, bringing it back up at the same height as the a. And then hit equals. Right. So we don't want the equal sign down in line with the little n. We want the equal sign in line with the lowercase a. Okay, so now you just define any function of n that you like. I'm going to take as an example the harmonic series. So I'll use a sub n as 1 over n. Note that what we've done is we don't just have a single value for a sub n, but we end up with another list of 14 elements. That exactly corresponds with a little n. And then let's investigate what each of these elements is by plotting them here in the plane. If we want to plot in the plane, we need an x coordinate and a y coordinate. That means an ordered pair. So if we set up to make an ordered pair, we'll use for the x coordinate the value of little n, type out an n. To make it an ordered pair, we need a comma. And then for the y coordinate, we'll use the value of the sequence, a sub n. Notice I did not access the keyboard. What I did here, do that again, a, and then on my keyboard, I hit shift and then the dash symbol. And that makes a, an underscore. And then what do I want to do? I want to make that a sub n. Good. And then if I hit enter, that closes everything up. And it's plotted out by the points of the sequence. And notice that the y coordinates are the value of the nth term. If I want Desmos to explicitly tell me the y value, I can click on label. And then it will show me all of the ordered pairs, x comma y. That's a difficult to read. Let's back off the capital N. Back it up. There you go. So 
one comma one followed by two comma one half, etc. We can hit play, plot them out. Labels are distracting, get rid of them, and there you go. We can come over here into the animation pro properties and uh, it's nice to slow it down until it, you have a, a nice speed, which is comfortable to view. Pause that. All right, so these purple dots are representing the first seven terms in the sequence with general term one over n. All right, let's, let me move this cell up above. And then here we have a sequence. Let's make a sequence of partial sums, capital S sub n. Note the cursor is down below. I can use the right arrow key on my keyboard to move the cursor up so it's in line with the capital S. Hit equal, make a definition. I want it to be a partial sum. I'll do SUM. So let me do that again. Type out S U. And then when I hit M, Desmos recognize that's sigma notation. Let me change the index variable from N to K. Let's start at one and then go up to, match that N over there, go up to N. Right. New index variable, and then match the subscript N with the upper limit N. And then we want to add these a sub n's, so we do a sub n, and this will give an error. This is not what we want. What we want is to be adding, this is adding a sub n to itself n times. That's not what we want. We want, we want this to be a value. So what we do is we access the kth term. So this guy is a sequence. It's a sequence here in Desmos speak. That means that it's a list. It contains seven elements. As we iterate through the index k, we want to grab the first element, iterate k, grab the second element, iterate k, grab the third element, iterate k until we get to the seventh element, and each of those elements we want to add together. To do that, we use the square bracket, and then to access the kth element, we type in a k. Good. Now let's plot out the seven partial sums. S sub n has seven elements, so there are seven partial sums. And let's do it in the same fashion that we plotted out the seven terms of the sequence. x value lowercase n, y value, capital S sub n. And then those are plotted out. Let's go ahead and look at the labels, back off the capital N, bring it all the way down to one. Let's hide the sequence, click and hold. Oh, just click once to uh, hide it, to not, not display it. All right, so one comma one, that's the first partial sum. Let's take N to two. And then the second one would be, well, and let's bring back in the sequence. One plus a half, is one half. Take out n to three. One plus a half plus a third is one half plus one third, or in decimal expansion, 1.833 approximately. Nice. Hit play. And we can see simultaneously terms of the sequence and corresponding partial sums.